Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is for January 2022. I can't believe we're here. Happy New Year to everyone. I missed you all. I've been sort of incognito. I hope everyone is doing well. So we are going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what Spirit wants you to focus on for the month. And then we will clear that and get into your person's energy and your energy and see what's going on there. So it is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate definitely check out those other placements it is a general reading so it may not resonate for everyone who watches so if you are returning welcome back i love you guys thank you for all your support if you are new i hope you'll stay and i am available for personal readings so if you like one of those please feel free to look in the description box or in my about section all right let's get into this and see what's going on with you guys one more cut a little sloppy <laughs> you could be feeling a little bit all over the place right now just because there's so much energy going on. I feel it really strongly, especially today after the new moon. All right, so in the current energy, we have the four of pentacles. I like that energy because it's about, yes, preserving your happiness. Ten of cups, and then we have the eight of cups. This is great energy. It means that you are really, really working on holding on to whatever makes you happy, and I don't think you're going to let anything disturb that. That's your current. Now in the near future, we have the Seven of Pentacles, being patient while you watch things develop. The Queen of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Magician. Now, what you don't see coming is the Two of Cups. That's good news for those of you that are single. If you're not partnered up, the Two of Cups indicates that somebody could come along that could be a really good friend that could also develop into a relationship. And then we have the Tower, which means this relationship is going to change your life. And then we have justice in reverse. Part of you might be a little bit scared. If you've been through some tough relationships, there could be a little fear. You may feel like things are, maybe it's a little difficult to in, include that into your life. So um, that's what you don't see coming. And then what Spirit wants you to focus on. Getting over some stuff that might still be sitting with you, emotional stuff, recognizing that there is still two cuts behind you. Don't focus on the things that um, have already happened if possible temperance in reverse and then we have the king of cups in reverse anyone who's been in your life that showed up and was emotionally unavailable all right so the overall energy is the six of pentacles perfect energy when it's in reverse like that that means there is no more tolerating and or giving of yourself to the extent of beyond what you should or beyond what makes you comfortable or even, even though it probably makes you really happy to give to other people, this is saying you're recognizing that you can't do that anymore. You just can't. You've got to find a way to give back to yourself. It's what your energy is asking for, especially cancers, for this year. So this is going to be you holding on tight to your resources, not giving them away, not helping other people, um, not giving so much of your energy. It doesn't just have to be with the Pentacles money. It can also be not giving so much of yourself, period whether it be energetically, emotionally, financially, or otherwise. So that's good. There's good balance. And because of that, new things start to develop. If you see that I don't have a nail, it popped off. And my, <laughs> my nail lady's on vacation. So anyway, let's get back to you. The Ace of Pentacles means that this brings in more opportunities. It helps open you up to the idea that there can be some fresh starts. If your sole focus has always been taking care of other people, it's going to be really hard to see how you could have your own individual life. So in this case, I'm going to say this is focusing on you individually now that you have pulled away from a lot of things that required so much of you, your focus, your energy, your money, and all of those things. So with that also is the Page of Cups. Now, this could be somebody who feels the need to apologize. It doesn't have to be an apology. It could also be someone that is a little bit younger than you that's in your life that actually brings something really balanced and loving. It could be a new, a new opportunity for that as well with the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe this time, if somebody comes back around that you actually are open to, it could be a childhood friend that pops up in your life and all of a sudden they say, hey, listen, I've had a crush on you for years and I'd really like to explore this. Would you be willing? And it's someone who's open. I'm just giving you an example that doesn't have to be that. It's just somebody who's got like a fresh young energy and I like it because it means that they see things from a, a different perspective. They're not jaded or cynical 
and their energy feels really nicely. And I think they look at you, masculine or feminine energy doesn't matter. The Empress knows who she is. And the way that this person feels when they approach you is that this is what they see. They see someone who knows who they are. Um, you've probably gotten to a place where you stand very firm in knowing your boundaries and people can pick up on that prior to, uh, not prior to spending time with you. I mean, they could already understand that about you, but it's like, it just radiates from your body. So there's no mistaking where you've gotten to. If you are still in a place where you're working on some things with yourself, this person doesn't pay attention to that stuff. They just see you this way. So they see you as having yourself together, knowing what you want and being very independent. She is that as well. All right, so I'm going to focus on the current energy. So the Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups and then the Eight of Cups. This is a perfect energy, especially in the way that it's forming, going from left to right. Four of Pentacles is holding on to things that really matter to you. And with the Ten of Cups being the next card, it says you're holding on to your joy and you're not letting anything disrupt that any longer. Because you've left behind so much emotionally, it allows you to really hold tight to the things that matter. And I think it's taken you some time to figure out what that joy really is. And now that you've come to a place where you've started to really discover what's going to make you happy, you don't want to let that go. So if anything tries to come in and disrupt that, I think you're not going to have a problem walking away from it and leaving the emotional attachments behind. That's what I feel like this year is going to be for cancers. It's going to be a lot less emotionally attached, which puts you in a position of I say more power, but it's not in a bad way. It's having power over yourself and being able to manage those emotions. You came in to experience this life as a cancer. So there's a lot that comes along with it. And I feel like that's what you're going to do. So current energy I love. It's really beautiful. Now, in the near future, we have the Seven of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups in reverse and then the Magician card. So like I said, not using or allowing your emotions to get in the way while you're waiting for your manifestations to come. So things aren't going to happen like at the snap of a finger. Some of you are putting your energies into your own businesses, realizing that COVID had a huge impact on a lot of people's lives. And it was to shake things up, to make sure you're doing what you want to do. Now, with that Capricorn energy that we had, you're going to be waiting while you're building a brand new foundation. So anything that was not there, that wasn't built on... That, that wasn't there or meant to be there is what I want to say that wasn't built on a strong foundation is now going to be removed from your life. So you are in the near future going to be doing the same thing, attaching from your emotional connection to waiting for things to unfold where in the past you may have been super up and down on like that roller coaster of shit. What's going to happen to me financially? What's going to happen in my love? I'm up one minute. I'm down the next. I just feel like this is a balance of that as you watch these things come to life because I think 2022, even though this isn't that particular reading, this is January, a lot of that energy is going to be coming out this year. So you have a lot to look forward to. And I think your patience is going to kick up a notch because you know you've put in the effort and the energy into whatever um, your focus has been and allowing yourself to step back has allowed you to accept that manifestations come when they're meant to come. Okay, so what you don't see coming, the Two of Cups with the Tower and the Justice in Reverse. Now, this tells me somebody really sees you as their partner. So if this energy comes towards you, it doesn't have to necessarily be in the month of January. So this is Gemini's card, and I'm gonna say it could be in June. This is Scorpio card. It could be in October, well, Libra and Scorpio both here. So October, November for some of you. And it could just feel like a very natural relationship. I, I did say this was for January. So some of you, yes, it could very much happen in January. And this person comes in and shakes your life up. And you're not sure because it sort of throws you off balance. You've figured out a way to really harness your, your joy and you don't want to let go of that. And if you haven't been in a relationship, you could have trouble balancing that out, especially if you're overwhelmed with anything to do with business or work or the other areas of your life that you've been focused on. So 
I know that was a lot, but some of you, yes, it could be coming in this time frame. Others of you, it could be later in the year. I just think this is going to be a lot different than what you've experienced. Okay, so uh, what Spirit wants you to focus on is releasing anything that seems to be holding you back emotionally. Um, I know that it can be frustrating. It seems as though, regardless of the gender, King, King of Cups in reverse, a lot of you have dealt with people who have been emotionally unavailable. Now we have a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups in reverse. So there could have been past relationships that are obviously over that you look back on now and you say, wow, you know, I don't know that I have the patience to deal with anything in the future. Or you may be frustrated with a current partner, but they want you to focus away from Take your focus away from what's already happened and focus on the fact that there's so much there to be grateful for, really, with the Five of Cups. There's so many opportunities. If he just turn around, there's a bridge there that can take him away. I guess it's going to a castle. Wherever it's going, it can take him to a place where he sees things from a different perspective. So I think where you have pushed these people who weren't available to you out of your life you also need to release some of the energy attached to that. It's a work in progress. Not everybody's going to do it all at once. And yes, it will take time for that to go. And sometimes we just can't help it. You know, Venus retrograde. I had an ex from five years ago pop up and call. Like never thought I'd heard from that, hear from that person again in my life. But it happens. So things like that could occur. Things could pop up to just make sure you're healed from them. To see how you're going to react. And... I think here it's a lot of releasing. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. This is going to be a pretty long reading, guys. This is the monthly, so I hope this is helping and you don't mind sticking around for all of it. Okay, the Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups, and then we have the Eight of Swords because you're not going to allow things to keep you trapped. That's the indication that there's something holding you back when it's actually not. She can free herself at any moment. So the feelings of being restricted or held back are no longer there for you. You just won't entertain anything that's going to keep you in that energetic space. That's beautiful. And then the lovers, of course, is on the bottom of the deck. So anything that's relationship related that you have had to walk away from, um, you're not going to stay stuck in that energy any longer because you recognize that what you need to hold on to is your inner peace, your inner joy, your inner happiness. So if these relationships have fallen away from your life, which for a lot of you they have, you may not want to go back into another scenario where you feel like somebody constantly pulls at you emotionally. And I think Cancers realize for a lot of you, you don't necessarily want someone who is with you 24-7. Some of you are different. It depends on your placements. But most Cancers seem to have a more independent energy. And part of your struggle through this life may have been fighting against the conditioning, believing that you're supposed to have a relationship like everybody else. It's okay to not want to be in a relationship where you live together or that you end up married. Whatever it is that you choose, your independence is important. And I think that's what you seem to be focused on and holding on to now. All right. So let's look at the seven of pentacles with the queen of cups in reverse, the ace of swords. Great. Because with this moment of understanding that things take time, when you remove your emotions from the outcome of a situation, the Ace of Swords says it brings that clarity to you that helps you realize that it's not worth being emotional about. Just pay attention to the signs and understand that Spirit's trying to communicate with you and let you know that things are still growing. They're still going in the direction. Your manifestations are still coming. You'll, if you slow down just a little bit, you will hear this. You'll have the interactions with Spirit. Spirit will make it clear to you. Yes, your manifestations are coming. And we appreciate, we know, that you have been working really hard and waiting a really long time. So you're going to start seeing these things show up for you in 2022. All right, so the Queen of Cups with the Magician. And then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So any area of your life where you've, had difficulty in the past. I think that's what's shifting. Um, yes, you can go back and forth sometimes when things haven't come around if you've had a lot of difficulty and it can create some instability. So in the near future, I think they want you to focus on not overthinking it because you'll have the clarity around why there's a sense of instability, why you 
um, maybe why you didn't trust all along that spirits always shown up for you. Even at the most difficult times, it may have felt like the rugs being pulled out or literally the grounds falling out from under you. I think you have always known that you can manifest an okay position, even if it's not where you wanted to be exactly. But now you're in a place where you're going to be working on what you do want. And I think this feeling of any type of instability, that could have been something that you picked up from a parent. If there was a parent that was constantly worried about money, a father figure um, doesn't have to be. It could have been a very masculine mother energy that had a lot of problems with money and that rubbed off on you. And now spirit saying detach emotionally. You're going to be aware, more conscious of the fact mentally with the mental energy that these things are coming, that you're not waiting in vain. Okay, so let's look at the two of cups with the tower, which you don't see coming. We have the fool in reverse. So not wanting to take a chance. Remember I said this person's going to change your life, but I think you're going to be a little afraid to step into this because you may not know how you can balance this with everything else that's going on in your life and all the work you've been doing. So let's look at the tower and the justice. Okay, so there you go. There's your knight of pentacles. This person comes in and is very stable. They have something to offer that is different than what I think you've experienced. I don't think they're pushy. So the good news is, is they're not somebody that, you know, is reckless or doesn't, isn't mindful of the things that if you speak to them and are open about it, that you clearly need. So the two cups says they're willing to have these conversations. They want to be open. They really want to get to know you for you. And they want to make sure that this takes its time. He's not in a rush. He's not the Knight of Wands and he's not the, the Knight of Swords. He's not coming in to like necessarily wish you off your feet. I feel like, yes, it's going to be surprising and exciting, but whoever this is wants stability. So I don't think you're going to have to worry about whether you can balance this. This person goes with the flow. That's the energy I feel. All right. Now with the Five of Cups and Temperance in Reverse, what Spirit wants you to focus on. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. So releasing anything that caused that constant back and forth, that's part of what you're also letting go. So if there was a feeling as if your back was always turned to the possibilities, he's standing there in the upright like, uh, I've got the devil and the angel, the devil and the angel. I don't know which one to believe. In reverse, I'm saying you're finding a way out of that. Instead, I think you have a clearer vision now. And spirit saying, focus on that clearer vision. Try not to lose your patience with it. Again, there's an energy of not wanting to allow your emotions to get the best of you. All right. So the temperance with the king of cups in reverse. There you go. So this is a, it's a difficult thing to do. This is about decision making. You've got two twos. One's in reverse, the going back and forth energy. And then we have the two of swords making a choice. It is a mental choice. You have a choice to feel a certain way. You you can shift those things. You can allow yourself to shut down emotionally. Um, not I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean disconnecting when it's not necessary to hold on to those emotions. So it's figuring out how to allow yourself, how to get to a place. I'm gonna get this out, I swear. It makes sense. It's like you need to figure a way to clear your mental space so that your emotions don't take over your mind. That's what I'm trying to really get out. And I think you figured out a way to do that so that you can continue to be productive and find the balance and hold on to your joy that we talked about in the current energy. So Spirit's basically saying you have a choice in this matter. You can choose to feel one way. You can choose to feel another. Okay, so I'm going to clear this and we will now get into the person that's on your mind. Let's see what ends up on the top of the pile. It is the magician. So January is going to be your month of manifestations. Now, if you hadn't already set your intentions for the new year, I know sometimes when we're busy, we can't think about it. Still, write them down. What do you want this year to look like? What do you feel really drawn towards? What really, really matters for you? So put your energy into that. Focus on one thing at a time. He's holding up one rod. So or one wand, whatever it is he has, there's one cup and one pentacle. This isn't about necessarily spreading yourself too thin. 
It's one step at a time and focusing on one thing at a time, if possible, that you really, really, really want to manifest for this year. Okay. Put that down or even just for this month. Let's see what's going on with your person and your energy. This is for cancer. Okay, so your person's energy is the fool. Mm -hmm. Wants to take a leap of faith. Okay, the king of swords, but they hold back a little bit. They're trying really hard uh, to manifest this. I think they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. So this could be an insecurity of this person's. So if you feel this about them, they just don't know how to really express themselves, but they're trying. They want to take a chance. They're trying to come out of their comfort zone is what it feels like. So if you sense that this person's holding back a little bit, I don't feel a sense of lying. And I would say with the King of Swords in reverse, sometimes somebody doesn't have a lot of integrity. That's not what I sense. I just sense right here that they feel like you don't necessarily see them or what they have to offer. They're hoping you will. Your energy is the tower in reverse with the five of cups. So right now, this is what you were focusing on that spirit said, mm, we need to get rid of this. So if you're still carrying any kind of sadness or rejection, feelings, things like that, it's going to be difficult for you in this particular dynamic. Because I don't feel like the emotions that you're sad about or the problems that you had are this person. I think it's something that happened in the past that fell apart. Now, the Three of Wands says that there's a part of you, it's almost like you want to wait before you put the energy into a relationship. So if you've been in this for a bit of time, I feel like you're a bit disconnected. I feel like there's still some too many triggers, too many emotional things that are popping up for you, and you're still really, really focused on your stability and probably just your finances. I'm not going to lie. That's what it feels like. You just want to make sure that you have you together before you invest too much in another person. So they may pick up on that energy and feel a little bit insecure. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, the Six of Swords came out. But I, I do feel like things are going to get to a better place. Um, it doesn't matter how long you've been with this person, if you've just met them, if they're from your past. It doesn't matter. I just feel like the energy is saying that at some point things are going to get better, whether you choose to continue to focus on yourself or if you do want to hang in there and see where things go. That's going to be a choice individually for all of you. Okay, I'm going to grab, we'll get advice in just a moment. The Romance Angels, let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, please. I think my cards are upside down. Nope, straight. Ooh, so we have Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yep, I knew one was give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, past life relationship. You have known each other before, so you may feel very drawn to this person, and they are to you, and that's why they're trying so hard to bring this together. And then we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yes, this could possibly be someone that you end up engaged to, not necessarily this month, but it could be sometime in this year if this is someone. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You know, yeah, some cancers, we like things to be a certain way. So if you feel like you're trying to direct the relationship, maybe just kind of um, let Jesus take the wheel. Do a little Carrie Underwood in this. Okay, let's get some advice and see what spirit has for you for advice. This is for cancer. Judgment. Make a decision. Um, allow, allow the angels to do their job. I know that's hard. Sometimes we think that we can make things happen. Just show that you're interested. Um, Six of Swords. Don't move away too quickly. You've got it in the up right here. They're saying, wait a minute. You know, yes, you want to get to a peaceful place, but do you want to do that alone or do you want to be honest about how you actually feel with the Knight of Wands? And then the Four of Cups. Don't turn your back on the person. There it is again. Saying if they're trying to offer you something and you're not paying attention, you don't want to miss that. I don't think you're going to miss something that's meant for you, but I think sometimes you don't see what it is that this person has. So uh, trust your, your guides. Trust your gut. Trust the feelings that you're having. I don't sense anything bad about this person. I don't think they're lying to you. I don't think they're playing games. I think they just want to take a chance and see where things go. 
They're trying really hard to manifest this relationship. Okay. Let's get the Lover's Oracle for you. This is for Cancer. Okay, well, that one wanted to pop over. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For The heart is the gateway to the soul. Absolutely. It's a beautiful card. If you could do anything, I'm going to read it again. What would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So make a decision about how you feel and then go with that. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. For those of you who feel like there's someone you're connected to and you may not be with them at this time, and you feel that really, really strong feeling of they are a healthy human being and I really want to be with this person, then that makes sense. If it's somebody from the past, obviously, if it didn't work out and it wasn't a good situation, that's not who we're talking about. Okay, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. There you go. All right, so I'm going to get the wisdom of the oracle for you. Let's get a couple more cards for cancer, please. For January 2022. What messages do we need? Please. All right. So it says the fates. Something is definitely faded. This is that time I'm talking about. I don't think this is just about the relationship. But yes, it, it could be that this year is going to be the year that those of you who have been single for a long time could find that person. 17 reduces to an 8, which is eternity. And I tell a lot of people that I work with personally when you go through the roughest relationship, after that is when you find the one that you're meant to be with. Some of you, this is the year. A lot of you, it doesn't matter how old you are because we're all going through this at this time, no matter what age it is. So yes, things could be a little bit different in your charts, but I do believe this is a faded year for cancers. And then we have 24, take a nap. Just make sure that you do take breaks. Because I know that some of you can be really driven. And once you get your focus going, you don't let up. And that can wear you out. So definitely take time for yourself this month. No place like home. There could be some shifts around your home environment. I feel like there's change that's coming um, for a lot of cancers in this area. You may be starting to feel like you want to get up and move. Or find a place that feels like your soul place where you want to settle down. Not for everybody, but for some of you. And then yang energy. So you may be finding yourself in the month of January being a lot more in your masculine energy. That's what I feel. A lot more determined. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. It just feels like a very strong masculine energy. And then we have loyal heart. So look at that. On either end of these two cards, you have the eights. So I do think, and look at the shape. They shape like a heart and there's the heart below. So I do think this possibly is the year for those of you who have not already and the kitten agrees. She's going to come visit. Hold on. We're trying to finish up the reading, baby. No, 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 no. Sorry. She's chewing on the, <laughs> she chewed my cord. I'm sorry. It bounced. Look away. So you guys don't get your eyes hurt. All right. We're almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Um, I hope this helped. I hope you have an amazing new year and that January starts it off with a bang. If you'd like a personal, that information is in the description box below or in my about section. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.